Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Good evening. You're watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. Press the headlines. The Council of Ministers stresses the importance of tackling hindrances facing food security projects by allocating areas for agricultural investment and to facilitate granting their approvals. The Council approves inducting the project of localizing railway industries through government policies for transforming modern technologies of science and knowledge. On behalf of His Majesty Sultan Qabus, His Highness Sayyid As'ad bin Tariq Al Said receives His Excellency the Ambassador of Algeria, a credit to the Sultanate. The Supreme Court issues its final verdict on the case of a duplicate and fake spare parts to imprison the convicts and to be deported forever from the Sultanate. And with a production capacity of 50,000 metric tons annually, Farrakhrom factory is opened in free economic zone in Sahar. Those were the headlines and now the news in detail. The Council of Ministers approved activation of Food Safety Centre at the Ministry of Regional Municipalities and Water Resources to assume its role of analysing and monitoring food and agricultural products that are consumed in the local market. The Council, in its monthly statement, said it had approved a system of public authority for industrial assets and its organisational structure and approved inducting the project of localising railway industries through government policies to transform modern technologies and of science and knowledge. The Council stressed the importance of tackling hindrances facing food security projects by allocating areas for agricultural investment, encouraging the setting up of projects and facilitating granting approvals for them. The Council directed to enhance research and service laboratories at the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries Wealth and to adopt steps necessary to preserve a public health from effects resulting from agricultural pesticides. The Council also viewed a visual show on the implementation of government projects, looked at the achievements and ways of dealing with implementation, geographical and environmental obstacles. It also approved a database for companies that are awarded government projects besides setting up planning units in the government bodies and equipping them with necessary capabilities. It also acquainted by public authority for investment promotion and export development about means of attracting foreign investments to the Sultanate. The Council supported recommendations by the State Council in its report on the importance of museums and heritage sites in strengthening Sultan's historical roles, mentioning that Omani heritage law will cover all required aspects to protect Omani material and non-material heritage. It also approved some recommendations by the Shura Council that would contribute in developing tourism and it's approved a report of competitiveness in travel and tourism and directed to continue efforts to improve a Sultan's indicators in this report. It also viewed works of joint committees between the Sultanate and friendly countries to achieve a further development of mechanisms for the sake of Sultanate's status regionally and internationally. It also directed authorities concerned to pay attention to e-transformation to facilitate speeding up of a clearing dealings. It also agreed for the Research Council to join International Council for Science and the International Council for Social Sciences. The Council of Ministers referred to the Council of Oman a draft law of overland transport and unified draft law for preserving, developing and utilizing living water wealth, which was prepared within the context of the Gulf Cooperation Council, as well as a unified draft law for combating dumping, compensation and preventive procedures at the Cooperation Council countries.
On behalf of His Majesty Sultan Qabus, His Highness Sayyid Asad bin Tariq Al Said received in his office today His Excellency Mohammed Yusfi, Ambassador of Algeria to the Sultanate, to bid him farewell at the end of his tour of duty. The Ambassador expressed his thanks to His Majesty the Sultan for the support he received during the period of his work in the Sultanate from His Majesty, the government and the Omani people which has enabled him to carry out his duties. He wished His Majesty good health, happiness and a long life and the Sultanate further progress and prosperity under the wise leadership of His Majesty. On his turn, His Highness expressed his utmost thanks to the Ambassador for the efforts he exerted in serving the brotherly relations between the Sultanate and Algeria, wishing him success in his future assignments and the Algerian people further progress and welfare. His Majesty Sultan Qabus has sent a cable of greetings to Her Excellency President Kolinda Kitarovic of Croatia on her winning the presidential elections. The case of duplicate and fake spare parts against one of the biggest companies working in the field of vehicles was closed in which the Supreme Court issued a decision supporting the ruling of the appealing court to imprison the convicts from executives and officials and to be deported forever from the Sultanate. They were convicted of cheating a crime violating the rights of consumers as well as putting their safety and health at risk and the attempt to deceive the consumers by selling duplicate spare parts. The case went back to May 2013 when judicial control officers of public authority for consumer protection caught a number of foreigners in this company who brought in duplicate and fake spare part for a low price and relabeled the data of importing company on the parts and sold them at 10 times more than their real prices. After the file was forwarded to the public prosecution as per the approval legal procedures, the case was moved to the first instance court. After hearing the options of technicians, specialists, witnesses and workers, the court issued its verdict that the convicts are to be imprisoned, a fine to be paid and deported, as well as remaining goods of more than 36,000 parts to be destroyed. Then the Supreme Court has ratified the initial ruling issued by the first in instant court. Her Excellency Dr. Madiha bint Ahmed bin Nasr al Shaybaniya, Minister of Education, stated that the final examination of higher diploma students are moving forward as per the plans adopted by the Minister of Education, highlighting the mechanism of following in designing examinations. She added that the Ministry has an integrated plan to monitor the examination process and to provide the assistance means for examiners, examinees, and evaluation faculty. She also stressed the process of activating the National Education Evaluation Center in moving as per the mechanism adopted by the ministry, indicating that the ministry is taking practical steps in this regard and is waiting for the special structure of the center. She also said the discussion on the center's plans have been conducted by the specialists experts from Scottish qualification company on the level of the governorates. Finance solutions for private educational institutions and their administrative development besides acquainting with modern services and technologies that can be provided for schools by the private sector, top discussions of prospects of private education with the Mithak Finance Solutions Seminar. It also tackled challenges, available opportunities, transport and transport safety at private schools. Her Excellency Dr. Madiha bint Ahmed Shaybaniya, Minister of Education, said that the ministry endeavoured to provide support required for investors to establish high-quality private schools, adding that no doubt that there are challenges and hoped to be overcome through practical recommendations by such seminars. The seminar was organised by the Ministry of Education in cooperation with Bank Muscat and aimed to acquaint with experiences as well as facilities provided to companies and educational institutions to develop their education sector in the Sultanate. Still to come in our news bulletin.
the fourth international exhibition of horses, camels and heritage titled Omani Asile is held at Oman International Exhibition Centre. Welcome back to the news from the Sultan of Oman Television. His Excellency General Sultan bin Mohammed Al Naimi, Minister of the Royal Office, received in his office today His Excellency Mohammed Yusfi, Ambassador of Algeria to the Sultanate. The ambassador expressed his pride and appreciation for the care extended to him by all officials in the Sultanate. On his turn, the Minister of Royal Office thanked the ambassador for the sincere efforts he exerted during the period of his work in the Sultanate to enhance the existing bilateral relations in all fields between the Sultanate and Algeria. The Minister of the Royal Office also received Vice Admiral John W. Miller, Commander of the U.S. Naval Forces at the U.S. Central Command and the Fifth Fleet. The meeting exchanged cordial conversation and discussed a number of topics of common concern to the two friendly countries. It also reviewed the march of the good bilateral relations binding the Sultanate and USA and means of enhancing them in all areas to serve the joint interests. Rear Admiral Abdullah bin Hamis al Raisi, Commander of the Royal Navy of Oman, received Vice Admiral John W. Miller, Commander of the U.S. Naval Forces at the U.S. Central Command. The meeting discussed a number of relevant topics and exchanged viewpoints on issues of common concern between the two sides. The meeting of the Governor of Musandam with the officials and representatives of government departments and private companies in the Governorate emphasized the importance of small and medium-sized enterprises to assume the role in local economic development to strengthen comprehensive growth march in the country. The meeting dealt with the importance of benefiting from the 10% from the government projects and tenders as well as work contracts to support the private sector as it was the outcome of a Seh al shamikhat symposium. Opinions of officials were voiced regarding work mechanisms and facilities presented to small and medium-sized enterprises. The meeting was presided over by His Excellency Sayyid Khalifa bin al-Mardas al-Busaidi, Governor of Musandim. The Ministry of Endowments and Religious Affairs launched the distant education project under the auspices of His Excellency Sheikh Abdullah bin Mohammed Al Salmi, Minister of Endowments and Religious Affairs. This was considered as another step towards benefiting from modern technologies in memorizing and learning the Holy Quran. It will facilitate the memorization process for various categories of the society. The project also includes recording mechanisms where students provide a sample recording according to available periods and plans. A workshop on application of standards and specifications regarding the filing of gas cylinders was held in Muscat today under the auspices of His Excellency Mohsen bin Khamis al Belushi, advisor at the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. It witnessed a participation from various bodies concerned and companies in this field. The work papers discussed topics related to requirements for filling, transport, handling and storage of liquefied petroleum gas cylinders. It also reviewed problems in 
oiled gas cylinders where their repetitive usage can cause a leak in the cylinder that leads to an explosion. The work papers also discussed the safety procedures, examination methods and other services provided by the companies. Reviewing aspects of cooperation in health and education fields between the Sultanate and the United Kingdom topped discussions at the meeting of His Excellency Dr. Ali bin Talib al Hanai, Under Secretary of the Ministry of Health for Planning Affairs, with Professor Colin Brian Radin, Chancellor of Cardiff University in Britain and his delegation. During the meeting, they also discussed the existing cooperation between the ministry and the university, upon which it is carrying out two bachelor programs in nursing and society health nursing as per the memorandum of understanding signed between the two sides since 2009. A visual show was also displayed on the health system for the next stage. 28 visions and more than 100 strategic procedures were included in the main document for future vision for the health system 2050. Those visions were discussed in a training workshop organized by the Directorate General for Planning and Studies. It aimed to qualify trainers on the standards and concepts of planning based on results. This workshop was considered the first in a series of a training workshops to be organized on the governorate level. Fasten seat belt by all passengers during the journey is the newest campaign organized by the Omani Association for Safety on Road in cooperation with BP Oman Company. It aims to aware the people in various governments for the importance of the belt in limiting traffic accidents. The association target from its inauguration to its convey the message of traffic safety in the creative way to all Omanis and expatriates all over the Sultanate. <clears throat> the fourth international exhibition of horses, camels and heritage, Omani Asile, was held at Oman International Exhibition Center under the auspices of His Highness Sayyid Taymur bin As'ad bin Tariq Al Said. It reflected various images of the equestrian camel and heritage and witnessed a huge participation from bodies concerned and those interested in camel sports and heritage. The exhibition included Armani traditional dances and live shows in addition to an auction for horses. It also included sections for camel and horse requirements. The exhibition comes under the sponsorship of the Ministry of Tourism, which contributed directly to support and the care for this exhibition stemming from its interest in tourism, promotion of tourism in the Sultanate, expanding it across the Sultanate and all diverse sectors. The second day of the exhibition will be specialized for camels and the third day will include horse beautification, championship and planned activities for children. Ferrochrome factory affiliated to Gulf Company for Mineral Materials specialized in manufacturing chrome pallets with a production capacity of 50,000 metric tons annually was opened in free economic zone in Sahar. It was presided over by His Excellency Dr. Ali bin Masood as sunaidi Minister of Commerce and Industry. It is considered a qualitative addition for localizing heavy industries in the Sultanate. China, India and the Western European countries are considered the most important markets to import the product of ferrochrome pallets. The factory is considered an integration of the companies of the treatment unit factories in the Wilaya of Samail, where the chrome raw material are produced in its in initial stage before the final manufacturing stage to be transformed into high quality mineral parts in Sahar. This is the Sultanate of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. The Council of Ministers stresses the importance of tackling hindrances facing food security projects by allocating areas for agricultural investment and to facilitate the granting their approvals. 
The Council approves inducting the project of localizing railway industries through government policies for transforming modern technologies of science and knowledge. On behalf of His Majesty Sultan Qabus, His Highness Sayyid As'ad bin Tariq Al Said receives His Excellency the Ambassador of Algeria accredited to the Sultan. To the Sultan. The Supreme Court issues its final verdict on the case of the duplicate and fake spare parts to imprison the convicts and to be deported forever from the Sultanate. And with a production capacity of 50,000 metric tons annually, Ferrochrom factory is opened in free economic zone in Sahar. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the studio and the newsroom, it's good night.